Okay, so today I'm gonna be preparing a recipe to be engraved in the Glowforge. So I'm going to open up my image and these always work better if you have a scanned recipe, but most people like to send you pictures, unfortunately. So that is what I'm using today. So I'm gonna start by cropping as much of my background out as I can. And then I'm gonna zoom in just so I can see it a little better. And so now I'm gonna make this picture into black and white. So I go to image, adjustments, and then down to black and white. Okay, so once my image is in black and white, I'm gonna go back up to image. I'm gonna click on adjustment, then levels. And so our goal is to just make the white background whiter and then the letters darker. So I'm gonna click on the white first. And so I just click on the background and it made the white wider. I'm gonna click on the dark and I'm gonna click on one of these letters and sometimes you'll have to kind of play around with what letters are going to take it better. So now I'm going to go back to white and I'm going to click on these lines because I want them gone. And for the most part it does pretty well. And so the only thing that I'm noticing here is that this O was really light and so it's basically gone. So I am going to crop out the title just so it's not messing with my design. And <clears throat> then I'm going to do it separately. So I'm going to try one more time with the levels and see if I can get these extra lines gone and if I can't that's okay so I'm gonna go back to the white little dropper oops okay so I'm gonna go back to the white dropper and I'm gonna click on the line and see if that helped which it did so if it's not working anymore because these are too light I'm gonna control Z and go back to the last step and I press OK and then I'm gonna to go to my eraser tool. And you can adjust the size of it up here. So I'm just gonna get these lines as much as I can. So it really only takes a minute to do the majority of them. Okay, and now there's still a couple spots that have those extra lines and I'm just going to make my brush smaller and then I'm gonna zoom in so I can take them off. And I don't think it really needs to be perfect because the Glowforge isn't gonna pick up on those light spots. So you're just gonna get the majority of it gone. Okay, and you can zoom out just to make sure you got all the spots that you want cleaned up. And so I'm going to save this. And the recipe is Oibolin, so I'm going to save it as Oibolin 1. And then I'm going to open up that recipe one more time. And then this time I'm going to just crop my title because I'm gonna have to add that back in. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna do the same process. Make it black and white. And then I am going to adjust my levels. 
And so I'm gonna click on the white one first. And then I'm gonna try and get this black line out of there. And I'm gonna come back in with my black dropper and click on those letters. And it still is not liking that. So I'm gonna cancel that and I'm gonna try something different. So I'm gonna start with the black and click on the O. And now I'm gonna go to white. And I'm just gonna stop there and erase that bottom line. Because it's only gonna take me a couple seconds to do this. Okay, so once you have all of that line erased, you're going to save that also. And then you're going to open up your Glowforge program. So once you have your Glowforge program open, you are going to open up both of those images. And the cool thing about Glowforge is that it is going to read like the PNG image or the JPG. Okay, so I don't have to adjust the size because when I saved the images, they are still proportional to their original size. So then I can resize it as one. So it's ready to engrave. And depending on what your material is will depend on how you engrave it. So it's good to go. I don't see any lines or spots and you can spend as much time as you want to take out those lines, but I found that adjusting the levels is a really good way to save time. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hopefully next week I'll have a video on how to trace your recipes for an image that might be a little bit messier or have a more um, detailed background. So keep an eye out for that and thanks for watching.